Hello, my name is Angela Nalomle Ahele. I am a girl born and bred from a car, uh -huh, but I'm from a Bayman to be precise. Yeah, I've heard lots of, of things about my tribe that I think it is not true. Especially one that says that Ga people are loud. Mm, loud. <laughs> okay, so um, I have a reason behind Ga people being loud. You know, Game in Shonawaje. I'm just trying to say that. Gas, we reside beside the sea. And you know, our main um, job that we do, we are, we are fish men and women. We do fishing. So, apart from farming, we do fishing. And we residing beside the sea. Kenji Ochonyanu. Hello, Chonyemi. No fade the day. And we. When you are calling a friend, a relative, or someone, and because you are beside the sea, they can't hear what you are trying to say, or they can't hear you. So we in turn shout on top of our voices so that the person can hear what we are trying to say. And that brings about us being loud. We accept that fact. Yes, God, we are loud. Even when we are playing and you are around, you might think we are quarreling. It's a norm. That is how we are. So it is not anything different from our personality naturally that is the reason behind us being loud um yes i've heard lots of things about other tribes that i think um they are not true as well especially when uh, <laughs> some people say that the Northern and the Ashantis, they marry to blend because the Ashantis are not at all. So when they mix breed, then they get the heights. I feel it is not true. I mean, people marry because of what they feel for each other. People marry not because of something they want extra or anything. So, Keji Sumoyemi, if there's love, and the person has met a partner and the tribe of the person is maybe from Ashanti and the person is a not now that doesn't make it um, a reason that people should fuss about and say that it's definitely because they want their height to differentiate that is why they mix it it can interest you to know that an Ashanti man and a not now can give birth and the child will still not be tall so I don't believe that yeah, um, tribalism is not helping our country, Ghana. Not, not, not. It's not helping at all. Because one, um, the fact that I'm a girl doesn't make me superior or makes me more better than another tribe. We are all human beings created by the image of God. We all have the same blood flowing in us. Nothing differentiates our personalities. So what other tribes can do, my tribe can also do. That doesn't mean we should discriminate each other and say you are not from my place, so I wouldn't give an ear to you when you are in need or something. And Sako and I that is an adage that we mostly say. When you meet your fellow, um, not now, your fellow, uh, your fellow fancy, your fellow, um, um, how do I say it, uh, Ashanti or any other tribe, we have the same skin, different language, but we 
communicate in the same way, in the same manner. So I believe that saying I am a girl, this one is from Airways, so I won't mingle. If the person comes and meets me dying right now, and the person leaves because of my discrimination, is that the person's fault? No. So please, let's come together and live in love and harmony. We have different tribes, but we are the same country, Ghana. So there's no difference. We shouldn't encourage tribalism. What can we do to stop tribalism in our country? Well, our tribes are open for more um, for researchers to come. I know a lot of people come to Chaliwati Festival to see how our culture is. Some people also travel all the way to go and watch on Batucho to see how it's going. Our Batucho festivals, we have lots of festivals that we do that people want to look at it and know what it entails. So we learn from each other's tribe and we know what is really into it. People have beautiful cultures. We have beautiful cultures um pertaining our tribes and even those that are not from our country as in ghana that are outside camps for tourist attractions in this um tribes that we are talking in their respective regions so how much more we that we are in the habitat of Accra and its environs and other regions why do we fight ourselves when other people want to see what we have so i believe we have to um, stop um, being uh, I am away, I am gone, I am fancy, the discriminations we should stop it, come together work as a team to achieve the same goal and make Madagana a better place and a harmony country to live in yeah what I would say to you out there watching me right now is to fight for what you believe in fight for what you know fight for the truth and work it out at the end of the day with the help of god and with the help of what you believe in you are going to succeed right. stay tuned and watch out for tnt channel for more of this kindly hit on the subscribe button and then see you on the next episode Bye bye